Hello and welcome back. I'm Scottish Mountain Man and in this video I'm travelling to the northwest coast of Scotland to spend the day sea fishing with my good friend Ali. Ali is a new face to this channel but has been one of my longest serving fishing buddies. We've had countless adventures both at home in Scotland and abroad. Ali, much like myself, has a serious passion for all things fishing. It's more than just a hobby to us, it's our way of life. My day began in the town of Loch Inver. Good morning and welcome to sunny Loch Inver. It's been a pretty miserable few days in the northwest of Scotland but we've finally got a break in the weather and I'm here parked up in Loch Inver waiting on my friend Ali. When he turns up, it's time for a day of sea fishing. We popped to the local hardware store that sells a selection of fishing tackle to grab some essentials before we headed north. All stocked up and ready to fish, we travelled a few miles along the road before ditching my van and jumping into Ali's truck. We had a good few miles to cover, stopping only for a quick photo opportunity, we made good time and arrived at our fishing mark mid-morning. From the moment we turned up, things seemed promising. Well, basically, for the, for the benefit of the video, We've only been here three, four minutes and just on the edge of the weeds there. Stop now, but there was some kind of bait, whether it was sand eels or something very small, looking panicked. So quite a possibility of someone chasing them in. Hopefully it's sea bass. We had spent a journey discussing our tactics for the day and we had both planned a mixed approach using both bait and lures. Our mission today was to investigate and see if the sea bass had arrived in Scotland's inshore waters. We knew we had a chance of some cool bycatch at this fishing mark, including flatfish, small pollock, and maybe even a sea trout. It didn't take long for Ali to get hooked into our first fish of the day. Well, oh, oh, we're in, we're in, we're in! Happy days, man! Go Ali, go Ali. Right, shit, net. It's here somewhere. Fucking that did not take long. Right man, you're gonna have a nightmare in this weed, aren't you? What is it? What is it? What is it, Ali? Is that a big fly? No, what is it? Is it what we came here for? Is it what we came here for, Ali? Is it what we came here for? Yep. Nope. Oh. My word, look at that. Well. How long did that take? <laughs> how's that for bycatch? Now, we, we knew this was a possibility, but not the likelihood. So, the sea trout is not what we're targeting, and they are a migratory species, and we're going to treat it with the utmost respect and keep it in the water until we're prepared and ready to unhook it and set it on its way. Yeah, boy! <laughs> nice VC trap. I'm getting straight back without touching our hands. Straight back, healthy as can be. What we want, see? Yeah, with Ali's sea trout on its way home, we were filled with hope. As the tide slowly crept out, we continued fishing, baiting our rods and casting them out, but the fish had moved on for now. The day went on like this for a few hours. Sea fishing can become slightly frustrating when you are rebaiting rods only to have the crab strip the hooks and catching nothing but seaweed. So eventually we decided to pull in the bait rods and go for a wonder with the spinning rods. I heard Ali shout to me from along the shore as he'd hooked into something that was putting up a strong fight. Right. Yeah, 
picture of her. Wow. A good fight you put up anyway. Beautiful. Despite my best efforts, I was having no luck. I couldn't even catch a cold. It was just as well Ali was there to carry the team. The spinning session had paid off. Well, for one of us anyway. So as the tide turned and began to rise again, we went back to our bait fishing. Although I hadn't managed to land any fish, I'm a big believer in never giving up. To be perfectly honest, a day on the Scottish coast in good weather with top-notch company is already a great day out if you ask me. But, thankfully, just as we considered packing up, I got lucky. Beautiful, so fresh as well. Eh? We were finished for the day and it was time to pack up and head for home. We had a brilliant day and even though we didn't run into any sea bass on this occasion, we knew we would return throughout the year to try again. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel to see my next adventure. But until then, take it easy, tight lines.